Today, we are going to do some online shopping on Amazon. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of ready to redecorate my space and just refine it even more. Although I'm still loving all my Christmas decor, I am thinking about putting it away and what I'm going to do. I wanna do a lot of redecorating on the channel this upcoming year. So I've been really kind of going through all of these different ideas. So what I thought about doing today is do a Amazon shop with me. I'm kind of loving these online shop with me videos because I'm almost doing some online shopping with you, even though I do this anyway, but now I'm doing it with you. So I have been finding such good stuff on Amazon. I, you guys know I love Amazon, so it's it goes without saying. So I figured I would tell you guys some of the things that I got because I've shared these items in the past. And then we'd also do some online shopping as well, some things that I'm kind of considering and let me know your thoughts on them. The first thing that I want to mention is that same vase. I mentioned this vase in a previous video. I went ahead and got it. Like I said, I want to do a lot more styling on the channel, a lot more home decor and share so much more with you. So I figured I needed to add to my collection. Although I do have a pretty good inventory of home decor, I need more vases and things to swap out because you need a variety of items when, especially when you are constantly rotating your decor. So I did go ahead and get this vase from Amazon. It's actually on sale right now. So I snagged one. This has been in my storefront and in my cart for a really long time. So I'm super excited about this vase. I love doing floral arranging and even just clippings of greenery from outside and throwing them in a vase. It just makes a space feel finished. I'm really, really excited about this one. The next thing I did order this one as well. It's this little vintage vintage keepsake box. It's in that iron like metal with the glass. I absolutely adore these for a coffee table. I love to put little Polaroids in here, even a bedside table. You can put some of your, you know, your hand creams. You can make it really nice and special. I like these to just corral different items. This one I thought was really unique because it looks handmade. Super cute. Oh, this comes in a large. What? I bought it in the small. I might need the large. I actually really might need the large because I think it would, you know, give me more space to do Polaroids and different things. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't even notice that was in a large. I wanna do more styling and let me know, what do you need help with in your home? What areas do you think needs a little more attention when it comes to styling? I feel like for me, I put something in a space and it just lives there. And I have a hard time kind of redecorating or reimagining that space. So this year I really, or this upcoming year, I really wanna challenge myself when it comes to my home and redecorate and move things around and just kind of give it a new life. I do that a little bit, but not enough as, not enough. I found these little glasses. What are these? Oh, they're opera glasses. I thought these would be so beautiful on a coffee table. You know, if you're looking at a book and you need a little like magnifying glass, I just, I loved these. These little special pieces I find are what really take your home to that more designer feel and really make it feel designed. Like a designer was in there and they put their extra little touch on your space and it's something so simple that you can do for your own home. It is, you do kind of have to have these like special little decor pieces like these little glasses or a magnifying glass, just those special little pieces. Another item that I've shared that I did order is this Carrera marble dish. This is so beautiful. I find that you can never have enough little corral dishes or trinket dishes. They, You could put them anywhere. You could put them on an entry table, on a coffee table, bedside table, anywhere in a bathroom, anywhere that you just want to have a dish where if you're taking your jewelry off or you know placing anything that's a little bit of a loose item and having it there for that item not only that even if you never put something in it it just gives a finishing touch so I caved I got this one I'm super excited about it I absolutely loved it another item that I found on Amazon is this marble tissue paper holder cover marble tissue paper holder <laughs> this looks 
so luxurious. Now, I do have one in my storefront that's an alabaster one, but it's a little bit pricier than I wanna spend. So when I saw this one, I was like, okay, I can justify that amount. Right now I have one that's just wood that I got at Target, which is fine but it's not this. This is gorgeous. This just like looks old world, looks elevated, looks polished. It just is beautiful. Another cute little item that I found was this candle snuffer. It's this iron candle snuffer that actually has a solid end. Now, before I bought one that had like an attachment, so when I go to snuff my candles, it would be like kind of moving all over the place because it was almost like a little bell. This one I love because it's all one solid piece, so you can be very sturdy with it and snuff your candles. Now, I always thought that these were a little bit silly until one time I blew out a candle and the wax blew and then I was like, that is why you need a candle snuffer. This one I think is not only beautiful, but I think is actually really, really well made. Last night I made a little coffee station collage because I am going to be redoing our little coffee station in our kitchen, giving it a little bit more of a moment. In that little collage, I included these caviar spoons and I just thought to myself, why can't these be coffee spoons? I love these. These are absolutely beautiful. They look very polished and high-end and just gorgeous. So found those, love those. I've had these in my storefront for a really, really long time and decided to go ahead and get those for that little coffee station. So you're getting a little sneak peek at that project that I'm working on. This holiday season, I have had more events to go to than ever before where I needed to bring gifts and I realized I I have no wrapping. Other than our regular Christmas wrapping, I have nothing to just throw a bow on it. So I did order some new ribbon that I was a little bit more universal when it comes to gifts. In fact, I'll show you. I wanted some ribbon that was uh, that I could use for anything. It wasn't really specific to Christmas or really any time of year. So I got some more of that hand dyed silk ribbon, which this ribbon is so beautiful. It's very fine, elegant and beautiful. And I just love that it relaxes so well. I don't always love like super structured. So I got it in, I think blush and champagne. So these are the two colors. I think this one was the blush. Are you kidding me? And then I realized I needed like a dusty blue. So I got this also in their dusty blue. This is such good ribbon. I have it all over my home. I got it for the red for Christmas. Love it. And then also I did buy some velvet, like French blue ribbon so that again, through any time of the year, I can, you know, use this beautiful French blue ribbon for any gift. I just feel like I needed a couple options because I didn't have anything. Another item that I did not purchase, but I do have in my cart is a lamp shade. I found a couple really nice quality, at least they look really nice on Amazon that I'm debating. I recently bought that marble lamp that's usually up here, but I took it out for the video that I really needed a lampshade for. And as I was digging, looking for linen lampshades, I found a couple really cool lampshades that I thought would like just be fun for any space. And that's, I don't know what these edges are called, but they're kind of kind of scalloped, I guess. I'm not sure what, what you would call these. I will put them on the screen, but I thought both of these were really, really cool. One's too big and one's too small for my lamp, but if you're looking for a lampshade for your space, check these out. They look so beautiful. I just, I thought these were really cool. Now I have to be honest, I don't know that I'm like the biggest fan of travertine, but give me enough time, I things grow on me. This footed little travertine it says charcuterie board. I thought was actually something I thought was really pretty. I not only love this for maybe a charcuterie board, but even in a bathroom to put all of your little bathroom daily things that you use. You could put this on your in your kitchen where your hand soap is. I thought that this was really cute actually. So I might be coming around to travertine. I'm working on a bedroom makeover and for our space as well. I think I've talked about that. I found this little coverlet that's a muslin coverlet. It's double-sided, so you have a cream on one side and more of a beige on the other. This looks amazing. I mean, this just looks absolutely beautiful. I thought that this was perfect to add some more texture and add into your room maybe for winter coming into spring, so pretty. I 
I really like this one. It comes in lots of different sizes as well. I haven't ordered these yet, but I've been meaning to order some faux candles that have like the, you know, the remote and you can turn on the, the, the candles. <laughs> so I found these taper candles. They're actually in this brown, which I thought was really cool. I haven't seen any faux taper candles like that. So I thought that that was just unique and different, but also they come in ivory and beige and blue. They come in so many different colors. Colors. I, I just thought that these looked really, really beautiful. So I have these in my car. I haven't ordered them yet. Let me know. Do you use faux candles? Do you like them? I feel like they probably are so nice. Maybe save some of my tablecloths because as you know, when your candles burn down and you get wax all over your tablecloths, it's not always fun. So I do have these in my car. I just thought that these were unique and, and different than I've ever seen. This little metal brass tray <laughs> is so Cool, it's so sleek. It also comes in black, but it's sleek. And I just thought that this was so pretty. Also, you can never have enough trays. Trays are kind of like a trinket dish or a catch-all dish. They come in handy for so many different areas of your home. I have them on my bar, I have them in my bathroom. You could put them on an entry, on a coffee table. They just clean things up and I love a tray. I love a tray also when you have guests over and you wanna give them some treats in the room or you just wanna clean up a little area, a coffee station. They are so great, I love this one it's on sale right now too i just thought it was very like a good juxtaposition to all of the rustic items i have going on in my home recently i brought my bus back out he's on my bar space over here i am so in love with that look again i definitely kind of needed to put it away for a minute but i think it's just because of the location i had him he was on my bedside table brought him back out absolutely am loving the look it just feels very like french museum i I don't know, I love it. Found one on Amazon. I'm very tempted to get this one. It's It looks really, really good. And I don't know, there's something about having a bust out that just feels, like I said, old world. It feels very just beautiful. Those are the recent Amazon items that I have either purchased that are in my cart or that I'm seriously considering. I'll make sure to have those all linked down below. Also my Amazon storefront because I am constantly updating my Amazon storefront, especially the curated home decor list. That one is, con that's my new list that I'm adding everything to because all the rest are full. So everything will be linked down below. Let me know which item was your favorite and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play